And here we are, the first game has already loaded up, spawning in the one o'clock position of the map, Catalena. We have our Teal Protoss player from Team ASOS Gaming, it is Makilator. And he is facing off against a pretty good player, he has been racking the ladder quite a bit. But it is going to be the pink Protoss player from Ve from Vega Squadron, Cool T. Now PvP to get things started. A little bit of compensation for the matches of yesterday. Because in yesterday's Go Over Starcraft 2 Cup, we have seen so many ZVTs, ZVZs and TVTs. And all well, the Protosses have been eliminated quite early on in the tournament, which is quite unfortunate when you think about it but in the quarterfinals there was not even a single protos left to try and battle for the finals but today we have the go over starcraft 2 premium number three so this is the third qualifier where the winner of today's tournament will qualify for the monthly finals which will probably be held next month but there are four spots to be obtained through the monday qualifiers but everything is looking so very standard for these players so far. Makilator is sending out that probe just a little bit sooner than his opponent. Both of these players have started with one gas geyser so far. So there, there is definitely potential for an extra gateway to, put, to, to be put down. And Kulti... No, no, excuse me. Makilator is putting a pylon a little bit outside of the normal path. Where you would normally get it. Also that gateway is kind of blocking... The pathway right there, so we will see a, si a cybernetic score. Is he really going to go for a wall off? You don't normally see that in a PvP. But yeah, apparently he likes his wall offs. So let's see if Kulti is actually going to scout this because Kulti is going to scout that bottom position first. And well, the cybernetic score is going to be near completion by the time he will find his opponent. But Mar Makilator will have a very nice scout in his opponent's base. He will see that everything is normal. Six probes are mining the gas. And Makilator still off of that one guy's gas guy. So it's like he's playing against a Zerg player. So that is it's quite a weird opening to think about. The probe is going to spot this. He might have mischecked the, the race for sure. But let's see. What is he going to use those extra minerals for? That is, of course, the most important question at this part. He did throw down a second assimilator at this point, but he is going to have a few extra minerals to work with. Now, Kulti shoot. If he clicked that assimilator, he's going to know that there was hardly any gas mined from that assimilator so far. But there is a Stalker about to pop out, and with Kulti hiding that probe a little bit, he is most likely... Well, he's going to die for sure. That probe is not going to leave that base at all. Makilator still has his probe. He did scout out everything in the base of Cool T, but what tech will we see from these two players? The Stalker did get the first skill of that probe, so the first blood has been achieved. Now are we going to see a quick next before any tech been dropped down? Yes, we are. Makilator playing it a little bit greedy. The scout of the probe is not going to find that out anytime soon. And we do see a second gateway, no, a third gateway being dropped down. From Kulti. Two Stalkers are in production. There's also that Cybernet score Chrono boosting out that Warp Gate Research. And the Mother Support trying to get some extra scouting done. But he has to be very careful with that Stalker. Shooting it down. High Ground Vision is going to be provided by the Mother Support of Maculator himself. Proxy Pilot already going to go down. Warp Gate Research is not going to be a big advantage for Kulti because he did not go for an extra quick gateway. But there are not going to be a whole lot of units out for Maculator. He has a Stargate halfway done. That's not going to do anything for him. He has one Warp Gate, but he has to cancel. He already canceled that, that Nexus at the natural base. Because three gateways worth of production, you're going to have a very bad time. But if Cool T cannot do the damage fast enough, that, well, he does not even go for the Oracle. He really needs to get those units going. I thought he could buy a little bit of time with the Photon Overcharge from the Mother Core. But with the, you know, with the Wall of going down... He might just lose his cybernetic score here. Yeah, the, that, that force field is not going to do anything. Might take a few pop shots, but the mud support is going to provide an high ground vision. So that cybernetic score is going to go down, which means nothing other than zealots can be warped in. Yes, there is a void ray about to pop, and there's still going to be 
a mother support for the Photon Overcharge, but losing its Cybernetic scores over insanely early in the game is painful however you look at it. Also that Sentry does not have enough energy anymore, so he could try to bone rush that ramp a little bit, but you still have to be very careful because this is still a very weird choke to fight in. Okay, he did go for the retreat. A little bit of a weird decision, I do have to say, but he must have been quite scared about an oracle flying into his base because he does know that there is a stargate on the map and with all your units on the other side of the map that's not going to do a whole lot but two void rays are here for the defense would not be surprised if cool T wanted to take his own base very fast and of course yeah i i really don't mind that he went for the recall right there he does not have the information we have and cool T actually did not have a have all vision inside his main base uh, inside the main base of uh, Maculator. So he must have thought, well, there is really is a lack of units. I really have to be careful moving up that ramp. There might be a sentry that I don't see, but Maculator is not going to go on the counter attack. Cool T is going to go. He has his robotics facility already. He's going to f go for Blink and the Dark Shrine right now. As long as he can hold that ramp, he's going to be in fine shape. But that's still quite a few stalkers. They don't have Blink, however, and there is a lot of force field energy in these units. Maculator is sending that Mother's Core a little bit far forward. He has to be very careful with that because if he loses it, he's going to have a very bad time. And now at least he has, still has a Time Warp or a Recall, whichever he needs. And don't forget that Kulti does have pilots on the other side of the map. The Dark Shrine is halfway of the way down. Oh, he traps a few of those units, gets two Stalkers. For, well, he gets one Stalker and a Sentry for the price of a Zealot. That's definitely a trade that I would take. But also, the War Prism is going to be on the way. Even if there's going to be a force field at the ramp, it's still not going to work out. But look at that. Kulti is very, very cheeky right now. He's putting that pylon down. But, oh, he is overstepping his boundaries a little bit there. Respect the Void Rays. They have such a high damage output. You really have to be very careful with that. The pylon for Kulti is not going to be done. Dark Tempers are going to be warped in right inside the main base of Maculator. There is no detection whatsoever. He immediately goes for the Stargate. There's no detection. It means that there's not going to be an answer for these Dark Templars. Now the probe finally being taken out. But the three Dark Templars are going to take out that, uh, that Stargate. No Oracles. There is a robotics facility about to finish up right now. But he can still get it down. At least if he focuses down. That pylon is not the only pylon that is powering it, I believe. No, there's another one. So he might be able to hold it down. He needs to Chrono Boost that Observer. But it is going to go down. The Dark Templars are victorious right now. Another robotics facility does get started. That's not going to work out. Kulti takes the first game of today. Congratulations to him. And he will move forward to the round of 16 already.